Okay, so we're learning Masech Sirub in uh, chapter six. The name of the chapter is Hadar, and uh, we're holding it, uh, holding it sixty-five, page sixty-five. And the last part that we discussed was the teaching of Rav Sheshes, said in the name of Belozo Ben Azaria. He says, "I can present an argument which would absolve all Jews from future judgment." their transgressions from the day of the destruction of the temple until now for the Pasuk state therefore listen now to this poor one and the one who is drunk but not from wine so the Pasuk designated the Jews as drunk as a result of the trials tribulations of exile therefore they should not be held responsible for their misdeeds mm -hmm. yeah good argument right yeah i love it so they challenge this from the following by sashiko mikho mecca a drunk's purchase is a valid purchase and his sale is a valid sale if he committed a sin for which there is a death sentence, Memesinois, they put him to death. Marcus Marcinois, if he committed a sin which is, there is a um, liability, liability of lashes, they flog him. Chloroshal Dovo, the principle of this matter is, he's regarded as a sane person for all his affairs. El Shapotomas Philo, except that he is exempt from prayer. It is clear from this Paisa that a state of drunkenness is not a justification for sins, only the obligation of prayer is waived. Actually, I think statistically most crimes happen uh, due to intoxication. I don't know. Sounds good. No, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that uh, it's actually the other way around, meaning the cause of the crime is the intoxication. Not that the they wanted to, it was premeditated and they also ended up being intoxicated. Meaning most of the things that are happening, uh, rape, uh, violence, and other from things. Being drunk. Being drunk. Well, yeah. we say, look, about the shtus, we say, about, you had all the various companies. So one, one of the, one of the, the things they, the, the they said story. about the, the teaching schus about the, the Jewish people is that Rosh uh, Hashanah, or Pesach, we drink four cups of wine. Right. And we read and we praise Hashem. So right. when the Goim drink uh, on their holiday, they drink, look how they, they conduct themselves and right. how Jews conduct themselves. So it says, My Choloni lifted the coma. What did Abu Lezbun Azayah mean when he, sta when he stated, I can absolve from judgment? Nami Midin Tefilo. He also meant only to absolve one from judgment about his lack of concentration during prayers. And not for other transgression. The vice only taught that a drunk is responsible for his actions when he did not reach the level of lot intoxication. Right, when his daughters took care of him. However, if he reached the level of lot's intoxication, Potu Mikulam, he is exempt from all obligations. Especially the first night. So, so the thing is, if you look at the teaching, if you look at the teaching of Abelazo ben Azayo, of Sheshus is saying in his name, that uh, being in exile is like a state of drunkenness, and therefore um, we absolving us from our transgressions. Is uh, can still be applicable because you can argue that uh, the drunkenness of exile is like the drunkenness of Lot, not just the regular drunkenness, but the drunkenness of Lot. Anyone who bypasses prayer, Bishas Gaivo, at the time of intoxication, 
From heaven they contain and seal the troubles which could have occurred to him. So it says in number 8, Mogin refers to Shmoneh which begins with the blessing of Mogin Avram. Alternatively, prayers are referred to as Mogin, Hebrew for shields, because they protect a person. So it means bypass prayer that he doesn't pray. Anyone who bypass or bypasses prayer at the time of intoxication, from heaven they contain and seal the troubles which could have occurred to him. Shenema, Gavo, Fikim, Moginim, Sogu, Choysum, Tso. But the verse states, the intoxicated one who bypasses prayer, trouble is contained and sealed for him. My mashma dai ofik lishno davuri. The Gemara elaborates what implies that this term ofik has a connotation of bypassing. The khtiv, for this term is written elsewhere with that connotation. Achai bogdu chemoi nochal kafik necholim yaveu. My brethren have betrayed me like a stream, like the movement of streams they have passed me. The Gemara cites an alternative interpretation to the verse in Eov. The verse should be uh, interpreted, anyone who does not express, anyone who does not express his prayers when intoxicated, from heaven they contain and seal the troubles which could have occurred to him. My mashma dai mafik lishna de galuyu. What implies that this term mafik has a connotation of expressing the khtiv, for this term is written elsewhere with that connotation. The channels of water became visible, the foundations of the earth became revealed. Fifteen, the word afike in Psalms refers to the channels of water that became visible at the splitting of the sea after the Jews had left Mitzrayim. Rabbi Yechonon therefore interprets this word in Eov to mean revealing or expressing a prayer. So now I'm not understanding this whole thing yet, but maybe we'll, we'll continue on and see where, where it goes. So Mihdi. The Pursuk implies the interpretations of both this master Rabbi Hanina and this master Rabbi Yechon. My Benayu, what practical difference is there between Rabbi Hanina and Rabbi Yechon? Ika Benayu de Rav Sheishis. There is a difference between them whether to follow the ruling of Rav Sheishis. The Rav Sheshers Mosar Shin Sele For when Rav Sheshers wanted to dissipate his intoxication, he wanted his drunkenness to go away, he entrusted his sleep to his attendant, instructing that he be awakened when the time for prayer arrived. Mar Isle the Rav Sheshers, Mar Isle the Rav Sheshers. Rav Yochan agrees with Rav Sheshers' ruling, and Rav Yochanina disagrees with Rav Sheshis ruling. It says in 16, 17, Rav Sheshis held that sleep dissipates the effect of intoxication even when it is cut short. Even if you sleep a little bit, it's still going to help you with the effect of the alcohol. Rav Yechanin emphasized the need to bypass prayer when intoxicated. He held someone who is intoxicated may only pray if he slept enough to awake on his own. Everybody was drunk for a simple story when he died in Musa. So. Not like Lot though, right? The Gemara discusses I, I factors... I got drunk like Lot one year for, for Musa. I missed the whole thing. The Gemara discusses factors other than intoxica intoxication which have a... the... Deleterious effect, deleterious effect on prayer. 
not good effect on prayer. Ama v'chiyav Rashi Morav kol shen daiti mishel serv alis pala. Anyone whose mind is not settled should not pray because he is unable to concentrate properly. Unfortunately, that would knock out the majority of people. But anyway, that's another story. Mishum shenem al yoyre. For the pasuk states, this is a pasuk in Batsar al yoyre. Megillah. They don't uh, uh, quote this verse is found in the script is not found in the scriptures. It says in nineteen Rashi suggests that perhaps its source is in the book of Ben Sira. Attributed by some to his son of of the prophet Yirmiyah. Okay, so it's a possible right. son of Yirmiyah. And uh, so what is Batsar al It is written, when in trouble, do not render legal decisions. Similarly, do not play in such a condition. The Gemara applies uh, this concept to Torah study and the rendering of legal decisions. Ma'ukva be'im the shusara v'nafik l'veidin. Ma'ukva on the day of a south wind did not go to serve on the court. What's the issue with the south wind? The south wind blows strongly. It is a storm wind. It's a stormy weather. Yeah. The rendering of legal decisions requires the clarity of a day of a north wind. What's the north wind? Brings sunny, pleasant weather. North wind. Bring sunny, pleasant weather. I'm about e omuli aim kareu kutcha. Abai said if my mother asked me to pass her some kutach. It says Abai's mother died during childbirth. When he mentions his mother in the Gemara, he's actually referring to his stepmother who raised him. Yeah. So, if my mother asked me to pass her some kutach. Yeah. Kutach was a dip used in Babylonia. It's like a porridge or something. A dip. Yeah, okay. Loitenoi. I could not learn with normal concentration because of this distraction. I'm a rabbi. If I was bitten by a louse, I could not learn with normal concentration. The mother of Mar, the son of Ravina, made him seven sets of clothing one for each of the seven days of the week in order to prevent lice. Okay. Night was created specifically for sleeping. It says in 26 of Yehuda is referring to the short summer nights when there's a little time for study. A person feels a need for some more sleep, he should to sleep to the night. Not should the first sleep to, to the night, not during the day, which is the most opportune. Not during the day, which is the most opportune for Torah study. Okay, cool. So, I'm a Rabbi Yishim and Lakish. The moon's light was created specifically for Torah study. I'm a Rabbi Zera Mechad and Shmatoch. He was always there, you're teaching a sharp. They are from daytime study. The daughter of Alchizda asked Alchizda, Does the master not need to doze a little? I guess he wasn't sleeping. Alchizda answered her, 
אמר לו, אשתו סיים מדריך וקטני ונינום טובו. Soon in the grave there will come days that are long for the purpose of sleeping and too short for the purpose of Torah study and then we will sleep very much. אמר רב נחום בר יצחק, ענן פעל דימו מענן. רב נחום בר יצחק said, we study Torah our daytime workers. That's in 28, our Torah teaching are clear because we study during the day. Chidushim Meiri. Rabbi Chabay Yaakov Yosef Ufor. Rabbi Chabay Yaakov would borrow and repay his study hours. He set himself a quota to study each day. When business affairs interfered with his schedule, he would borrow hours from the day and repay them at night. completing his study quota then. Amar Bilozor, Rabba Menadecha, is Parish Loishri, and one who comes from the road should not pray for three days because his mind is still not settled from the weariness of the journey. Shenem Arvo Akab Tzemelano Rabbo El Ahavo For the Pesach state, I gathered them to the river which comes to Ahavo, Ezra 8.15, We rested there three days, and then I scrutinized the nation, meaning this implies that Ezra was unable to give this subject proper attention for the first three days after his journey. Hence, prayer, which also requires intense concentration, cannot be formed properly for three days after the end of the journey. Abu the Shmuel Kiyosi Baruch HaLomatz of Los Yomim, the father of Shmuel, when he came from the road, did not pray for three days. Shmuel HaLomatz of Esadiz, Beshich HaShmuel would not pray in a house that contained beer, because the smell of beer would intoxicate him. Rav Papa Lomatsi Vesa Dizbe, our son of Rav Papa, would not play in a house that contained fried fish. Small fish were fried in the oil with flour. Anyone who can be appeased to overlook an injustice inflicted upon him by drinking his wine, anyone who can be appeased To overlook an injustice inflicted upon him by drinking his wine, meaning he drinks a little bit of wine and he lets stuff go. Yeshbo right. Midaskina possesses one of the attributes of his Creator, possesses the attributes of God. Verse 8 God smelled the pleasant aroma. Of Noach sacrifices and became appeased enough to promise never to bring another deluge to the world. Anyone who is settled with a clear mind after drinking this wine, Yeshvo Das Einskin, contains the attributes of 70 judges, Yain Nitan Bain Oisius, the numerical value of Yain. Wine is 70. And the miracle value of soid is also 70. So when wine enters, his secrets exit due to the loss of inhibition caused by his intoxication. Wine was uh, created only to comfort the bereaved. And to grant a transient, transient reward to the wicked people. For the verse states, give intoxicating wine to the wicked. The verse states, give intoxicating wine to the wicked. And then the verse continues, and wine to the embittered souls. For this, Rabbi Hanin, 
deduces both purposes for the creation of wine. The mark continues its elaboration on the on properties of wine. Omar Rabbi Hanin Bar Papa. Rabbi Bar Papa said, "Kol she'ain yain nishpach b'seich beisar kamaim." Anyone in whose home wine is not poured like water, ain no bechlal bracho is not in the category of being blessed. Shenema uvoi cheslach mechoves memecho. says in number 43, wine is poured in the home, in the house, as plentifully as water, without any concern for the expense. Alternatively, if wine is ex accidentally spilled, spilled and wasted, the owner does not react angrily. Okay, good. Famous saying, when the wine is spilled, it's a good sign. My wife always gets to a little, I make a little mess when I make kiddush. She says, oh, make a little mess. Uh, as long as you clean up to yourself, it's right. not going to be a problem. <laughs> so anyone in whose home wine is not poured like water is not in the category of being blessed. <laughs> you will bless your bread and your water. The Pasuk is homiletically explained as, as follows. Ma lechem shenika bechesav may suggest as bread is a significant food which may be purchased with may sheni funds. Right, if you take may sheni, you can buy you you buy food with it in right. Yerushalayim. Right. So so what what type of food should you buy? So, so one of them is bread because it's a uh, significant food. So to the water mentioned in the verse refers to, to a significant drink which may be purchased with my Sashini funds. What is significant drink? my new yain. What is it? It's wine. So why do you calling it water if it's if it's wine? If wine is poured in his home like water, there's a blessing there. And if not, no state of blessing has been attained. I remember my father told me that the Avdala wine, beside that in Chabad you fill the wine to the top and make it spill inside the plate, so the Avdala wines make sure that some spills on the floor. So a few drops that spill on the floor. Yeah. So the famous statement that a person is um, true character be perceived with his cup of wine, with his wallet, and with his anger level. And some say also with his laughter. So number one, his mind remains settled even when he drinks. Number two, he deals honestly with people. Kiso, that's his money, his wallet. And number three, he does not get angry too often. Number four, he does not laugh public publicly in a way that degrades himself. So he refrains from understanding. Uh, so that's a meiri that he does not degrade himself when he laughs. And alternatively, he he. Re refrains from under, uh, under or from unrestrained laughing. Hagoy Siavitz. Okay. Going back to our discussion of Eruvin, Shitufe Mevoyes, Shitufe Chatzerois, the Gemara returns to the issue with which this chapter began, the effect an idolater has on a Chatzer, Mavoy, in relation to the laws of the Eruv. Amar of Yehuda, Amar Av. Rav Yudha said in the name of Rav, Yisrael v'nochi v'pnimis Yisrovach, it's in a Jew, and an idolater lived in an inner chotzer, and a lone Jew lived in an outer chotzer. Bo ma'isadif ni Rabbi v'osa. This case came before Rabbi, and he prohibited the Jew living in the outer chotzer to carry articles 
out of his house into his chotzer unless he leased the idolater's rights. And such a case came before Rabbi Chia, and he too prohibited caring. Yosu Rabbi Rav Yosef Vishil Pirkid Rav Sheshis. Rabbi and Rav Yosef were sitting after the lesson of Rav Sheshis has ended. Vyosi Rav Sheshis will come. Rav Sheshis sat with them and said, Come on, Amor Rav Shmaita, according to whom did Rav state his ruling? Kabi Meir, according to Rabbi Meir, who holds that an idolater is strictly Chotzer even when only one Jew lives with him. Kalkish Rabbarish, Rabba nodded his head in agreement with Rav Shesh's comment. Amar Rav Yosef, Trey Gavri Ravri Karbon Litu by Milta, could two great people like the rabbis of Sheshis and Rabba err in this matter? If Rav's ruling follows the view of Rabbi Meir, why do I need a Jew living in the outer Chotzer? If you will say that Rav does subscribe to Rabbi Meir's view, but he was merely recording cases, and the case that occurred, occurred in this manner. This cannot be so. For they asked Rav regarding his statement, What is the status of a of the Jew of the inner Chatzar in his own place? Does the idolater restrict his inner Chatzar? And Rav answered it, It is permitted. This is not true according to Rabbi Meir, who holds that an idolater restricts the Chatzar he shares with a lone Jew. Rav Yosef has refuted the explanation of Rav's ruling proposed by Rav Sheshis and Rabbah, the Gemara now asks, Ela, mai ben Yaakov. What is the alternative that Rav, that Rav's view restricting the outer Chotzer is like the view of Rav Lezer ben Yaakov, who disagrees with Rabbi Meir. It also cannot be so. For Rav Lezer ben Yaakov said, an idolater does not restrict a Chotzer unless there are two Jews who also restrict each other. In this particular case, however, the Jews do not restrict each other since each lives in a different chotzer. Why then does the uh, idolater cause any restrictions? Ela ki Rabbi Akiva. And if you say rather, Rav's view is like the view of Rabbi Akiva. What did Rabbi Akiva say? The Omar, Regal amutez unkem oser shleim kemo. By the way, you can look at the uh, diagram where it shows you two chateras. One is connected to the other, and then they are both connected or leading to a mavoi. True. Yes. Leading to some kind of alleyway. Alleyway. Ela ke Rabbi Akiva. The Om Arigam tells me, Kim was says, Shalom Kim. What Rabbi Akiva says? That the right of pa- the right of passage of someone who is permitted to carry in his own area restrict an area not his own. This also cannot be of reason. Why do I need an idolater living there? Even the Jew who lives in the inner chotzer would also restrict the outer chotzer on his own because of his right of passage. Actually, Rav's view is like the view of Elazar ben Yaakov and Rabbi Akiva. Here we are dealing with a case where the two Jews had joined in an Eruv. Okay? The time of the Ika Nochidos. Now, the reason the outer Chotzer is restricted is because there is an idolater in the, in the, inner, one, in the inner one, in the inner Chotzer. However, if there is no idolater there, it could not be restricted since an Eruv had been made. It is therefore essential that the presence of the idolater mentioned in Rav Wulitz. If a Jew and an idolater lived in the outer Chotzer and a lone Jew lived in the inner 
What is the status of the outer chotzer? Or sometimes we should restrict the diet. The person that the outer restricted. The outer chotzer there in the previous case because it's common for a Jew to live alone with an adulter where another Jew resides in the outer chotzer. The mir tatnoch because the Jew is confident that the adulter would be afraid to murder him. The sovarash tosi sova moli. So because the idolater thinks that, that at any time the Jew who lives in the outer Chotzer will come to and ask him, where, where is the Jew who was residing with you in the Chotzer? But here, where the idolater lives in an outer chotzer, he would not be afraid to harm his Jewish neighbor, because the idolater thinks, I will say that the Jew left the chotzer and went away. If so, the idolater would not restrict the outer chotzer according to Abelaz ben Yaakov, since it would be unusual for a Jew to live there. Or Dilma, Here also the idolater is afraid to harm him, to harm the Jew. Why? Because the sovarash to also is sovar chosili. The thinks that at any time a Jew who lives in the inner chotzer will cause, or will come and, and then see him, and see me harming his fellow Jew. So the outer chotzer has the same status as a chotzer with two Jewish residents, and the idolater would restrict even according to Allah Zabin Yaakov. So Omar Lay, Rav answered him, Ten give knowledge to the wise man, and he will get wiser still. Just as the idolater restricts in the previous case when he lived in the inner Chotzer, he also restricts this case when he lives in the outer Chotzer. The Shlakish and disciples of Rabbi Hanina visited an inn where they wished to stay for Shabbos in order to permit carrying from the rooms into the Chotzer. They joined in a neighborhood among themselves and sought to list the rights of an idolater who had leased a house in the Chotzer. However, the tenant was not there, Rav Maskil, but the landlord, who was also an idolater, was present. Omar Maul Minai, they ask, is it permitted to lease rights to that house from the landlord? Wherever the landlord may not evict the tenant before the lease expires, there is no question that we may not lease rights from the landlord because the house is not in his control. The question is valid. Situation such as this one, where the landlord may evict him. My cave the Matsim since the landlord, what is the law? Now, since the landlord may evict him, we may lease rights from him. Or perhaps presently, So, let us list the rights from the landlord. When we reach our teachers in the south, we will ask them for a definitive ruling. Also, show you our office. So, they came and they asked our office. When you, you did correct, when you rented rights from the landlord. So the idolater who owned the inn arrived on Shabbos. Oh, Malumigamune, they asked, is it permitted to lease rights to the house from the owners? Domi is leasing similar to John Eru. Oh,
is listing similar to joining in an Eruv, Mamel by Jem, just as one must join in an Eruv when it's still daytime, Afsechim by Jem. So too, one must list while it is still daytime on Shabbos Eve. Odilma Shechik and Vatash is done. Listing is similar to relinquishing rights, Mam Vatash Shus Afil with Shabbos. Just as one may relinquish his property rights even on Shabbos, Afsechim Afil with Shabbos. So too one may lease even on the Shabbos. There's a question mark. Is someone allowed to lease on Shabbos? So Abichayna said, Abichayna Bar Yesa said, it's okay. Abasi said, it's not. Amor Abichia Bar Abba Nismo Chadiv Zorka Nisko. Let us read down the lenient opinion of the elder Abichayna Bar Yesa and Lis. Also, Shere Rabbi Yochanan. They came and asked Rabbi Yochanan his opinion. Omar Loen, he told them, Yofa Asim Shazachatem, you acted correctly. When you list rights on the idolater on the Shabbos, we shall continue. So, okay, so.